Hello and welcome to the Universe and to another awesome video. Now a couple of days ago I made a video chatting about my favourite upcoming Doctor Who project, Time Lord Victorious, with its brilliant looking new Dalek designs being made into figurines by hero collector Eagle Moss. Now I've been meaning to look into getting figurines for absolutely ages and now I have one, and it's a pretty massive one at that. So today I'll be reviewing the Mega Bronze Dalek statue, oh yes, all 210mm of this metal resin monster all the way from Skurrow to my own little room. So let's dive right in with the statue based on the Dalek design first introduced back in 2005 with Christopher Eccleston's incarnation of the Doctor. This design has helped the Daleks decimate populations, move worlds, battle Time Lords and nearly rip reality itself to shreds. And now it's sat next to me as I record this review and it's just so cool. The Daleks have kept this look for over a decade now with a few variations here and there, but they always go back to bronze. These baddies are battle ready with this version forever burnt into my brain since it escaped Van Staten's vault in Dalek. So before we take a proper look at our Dalek, let's take a look at its own vault, the packaging. The figurine comes in a cardboard box with the front adorned with the BBC logo in the bottom left corner and the Doctor Who figurine collection logo stretching across the top. Beneath it is a still image of the figurine from a side on perspective, which is placed in front of a promotional image from the 2010 series with the TARDIS flying through the lightning filled time vortex covered in a blue wash. On the top of the box we have a front on view of the R Dalek against a black backdrop and then on the sides of the box we have a brief description of the statue's origins and features such as that amazing metallic finish as well as the product's height and a more diagonally placed Dalek in an angle which I think shows off the statue really well. With that the base of the box has a black and blue colour scheme with a selection of legal mumbo jumbo written onto it. Now that I've reviewed a cardboard box let's take a closer look at the statue itself. And firstly, the pictures on the website do not do it enough justice. I mean, it is really impressive, from the smaller details like the way the eyepiece appears to be just matte blue paint in the promotional photos. But at home, it genuinely looks like a light pulsating and changing depending on how the rays of light bounce off it. There's a name tag below it as well. Actually, that's a point. Do you remember when they introduced Daleks with name badges? I always thought that was a pretty cool idea. That they had backstories, traits and roles in this army of mutant man tanky travel machines. Anyway, the detail of this name tag looks awesome with the hand painted detail really standing out, plus you can use this tag to work out what the model really is based off, and it's based off the Metaltron with the symbols matching the ones in the episode Dalek. What about the wider picture though? Well it stands strong and sturdy on the majority of surfaces thanks to its wide base, and when flipped over reveals the anti-gravity technology used to make the Dalek fly. Now sadly the statue doesn't fly unless you have a good throwing arm, a grudge against it, a dustpan and brush and money for a replacement when you've realised you've thrown away something awesome. The Dalek's proportions are great, not looking any way out of sorts from the on-screen version from what I can see. The silhouette is striking as ever from any angle and I love the way the spheres are finished with this great polish and an outer rim of weathered black paint casting a shadow that adds depth and detail to the design. The midsection is full of detail from the rivets to the lighter golden slats and the weapons panel which features a plunger arm and exterminating death ray gun. Both captured really well however I feel that the plunger is lacking depth and that if I was to be really into the whole screen accuracy thing then the circular articulation pieces that attaches the weaponry to the bodywork should be more black than silver however that's nothing that can't be fixed at home if you really wanted to. Comparing it to Hero Collector's main range version of the sculpt which is 10cm tall and 121 of the scale of the real deal, you can see how the level of detail is insanely different with the degrees of care and visual cues crafted to a much higher standards on this larger figurine when compared to its baby brother. The top of the squid from Scaro features all the grooves, rivets and ridges that the on-screen prop presents, and that's too right as when the TV series prop was being first created, Mike Tucker's team of prop builders adhered closely to Matt Savage's concept art, which was first submitted on the 18th of September 2004, copying his weathering and detail carefully. A few more fun facts, the bronze colour scheme was actually the idea of the showrunner at the time, Russell T Davies, who spearheaded Doctor Who back onto our screens. Now there was actually a late decision to include the Daleks in series 1 in 2005 after a brief battle with the Daleks real creator, the estate of Terry Nation. Meant the team had just three and a half weeks to complete the prop. Without the time to build a complete prop from scratch, they turned to a fan, Andrew Beach, who had in his possession a number of Daleks made by Steve Allen, Alistair Locke and Dave Bryan. Beach was well known to Tucker, having supplied parts of this collection to the Dimensions in Time Children Need charity special in 1993. Tucker took two Daleks that were essentially based on the 1960s versions from The Chase through to Evil of the Daleks. Also available was a Dalek that had been made from the Necros moulds first used in 1984. The Necros moulds produced a Dalek with a slightly more upright skirt section. The team decided that the original classic Dalek was the best look and crafted the definitive Dalek for many around the world. 
The work that went into the design of the props for our TV screens and now onto our tabletops is really well captured with this figurine. The statue itself really is impressive and I wasn't sure about the price at first which is a whopping £109.99 which sounds steep but when you can see the statue in front of you, all the obvious attention to detail, the hard work that went into it, I can't help but understand the price and accept a truly brilliant looking piece. The statue also comes with a certificate of authenticity to make it official and you'll also be able to read about the bronze Daleks adventures through space and time with details from behind the scenes, some great stills of the props and statues and much more. One thing I have to say though, because I'm weird when it comes to Doc 2 photos, that the cover uses a picture of a Dalek from Doomsday and a backdrop from The Witch's Familiar to show off a statue of a Dalek from Dalek, which may bug some of you. Other than that, it's spectacular. Taking another look from a distance, it does truly look great. Yes, there are flaws, like with everything out there, but overall, I think it's an outstanding product that now holds a proud and prominent place for me. It's weird having a Dalek that can't move its head or weaponry like the character options action figures. However, I feel like this is a departure from that, with a more extensive detail and focus on quality and durability rather than play and practicality. I honestly think it's awesome, and I'm so happy with it, and as soon as it turned up, I knew I had to make a video all about it. If you have any questions about the statue, feel free to fire them into the comments section. And it's worth noting, this video isn't sponsored or anything like that. I'm just insanely positive about this bronze boy. With all that said, thank you very much for watching this quick video. What are your thoughts? If you enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And if you want to experience some bonus rewards, then be sure to check out my Patreon page like Time Lord Tier Supporter, Stefan Pastran, who gets to see a selection of my videos 24 hours early before anyone else, receives a shout out and brand new downloadable poster every month. If they sound like things that you would like, then check out my Patreon page and help the channel grow. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.